hey so far we have seen these laws of chemical combination and we have seen how the elements were combining by mass but what if instead of mass we look at how gases combine by volume turns out something equally fascinating happens and that's where gay lussac's law comes in to understand let's consider the formation of water vapor from hydrogen gas and oxygen gas at constant temperature and pressure well what was observed experimentally was two volumes of hydrogen gas combined with one volume of oxygen gas to produce two volumes of water vapor for example if i have 100 ml of hydrogen gas it would react with 50 ml of oxygen gas to form 100 ml of water vapor and this was what gay lussac observed too that the reactants and products reacted and combined in simple whole number ratio which we now know as gay lussac's law of gaseous volumes proposed by gay lussac in 1808 gay lussac's law stated that when gases combine or are produced in chemical reaction they do so in a simple ratio by volume provided all gases are at same temperature and pressure now there are some points that we need to be very mindful about when it comes to gay lussac's law the first thing is all the reactants and products needs to be in the gaseous state right number 2 they need to be at the same temperature and pressure conditions here is an example so we so far know experimentally that two volumes of hydrogen should combine with one volume of oxygen gas to produce two volumes of the water vapor so if we had 100 ml of hydrogen combining with 50 ml of oxygen gas we were getting 100 ml of water vapors correct now my question to you is what if i mix 100 ml of hydrogen with 100 ml of oxygen how much water vapor do you think will be produced 100 ml 200 ml ha huh? well let's again see the experimental observation as per gay lussac's law which talked about hydrogen and oxygen combine to form water vapor in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to 2 ratio that means 100 ml of hydrogen would react with 50 ml of oxygen to form yes 100 ml of water vapor thus maintaining our 2 is to 1 is to 2 ratio that means hydrogen container would be completely empty as 100 ml of gas is fully used up but our oxygen container still has 50 ml of unreacted oxygen gas and that's exactly what you see here we have 0 ml of gas remaining here in hydrogen 50 ml of oxygen remaining and 100 ml of water vapor being formed now let's try to apply this same law on another reaction of the production of ammonia gas from hydrogen gas and nitrogen gas all right here also let's figure out whether the whole number ratio of volumes is holding true or not all right well it was what was observed experimentally that three volumes of hydrogen combined with one volume of nitrogen to produce two volume of ammonia at constant temperature and pressure conditions what does that mean say if i take 300 ml of hydrogen gas with 100 ml of nitrogen gas what will be produced is 200 ml of ammonia the volume of hydrogen and nitrogen combine in a fixed whole number ratio of 3 is to 1 okay now i have a same question what if now instead of taking 100 ml here let's keep the volume of hydrogen as 300 ml only but what if i take excess nitrogen say 300 ml what do you think will be the volume of ammonia that shall be produced 
hey, let's revise what was the ratio in which the gases were combining and getting produced. We saw that three volumes of hydrogen was combining with one volume of nitrogen to produce two volume of ammonia. By that principle, well, 200 ml of ammonia should be formed. So basically, all 300 ml of hydrogen gas would combine with just 100 ml of nitrogen gas to form 200 ml of ammonia vapors. Exactly following the ratio of 3 is to 1 is to 2. So, if we check... That is what was observed. Our hydrogen container here would be completely empty as 300 ml of hydrogen gas is fully used up. But our nitrogen container has 200 ml of unreacted nitrogen gas. Only 100 ml reacted with this 300 ml of hydrogen to form 200 ml of ammonia. And hence, abiding the ratio of 3 is to 1 is to 2. Well, that was Gay-Lussac's law. Gay-Lussac's law was effectively clarified through Avogadro's work in 1811, which we shall study going ahead. But for now, to get a better clarity, let's take a look at this question. The question says, if 20 litres of water vapour, H2O gas, is formed in the following reaction, and this is the reaction. What will be the respective volumes of hydrogen and oxygen gases consumed? You can assume all gases are measured at the same temperature and pressure. So, which law strikes the doors of your mind? Of course, Gay-Lussac law. And you can pause the video and try attempting this question. I hope you could do it. Well, what does Gay-Lussac law say? It says that when gases combine or are produced in chemical reaction, they do so in simple ratio by volume, right? And uh, that's applicable when the gases are at same temperature and pressure, which is in this case. So yeah, we can say that water produced here is 20 litre. And hydrogen and oxygen are combining in the ratio of 2 is to 1. So say if 2 litres of hydrogen was combining with 1 litre of oxygen, it would have given us 2 litres of water vapour. Now, as per the question, it is given that 20 litre of water vapour is produced. That means 20 litres of hydrogen would have combined with 10 litres of oxygen to produce this 20 litres of water. So, the answer 20 litre and 10 litre, that means B becomes the answer to this question.